Hey everybody, Paul Berry, Family Family Gaming, I'm doing a Reacts to the Future Game Show. It uh, went live March 24th, getting here about a week later. Um, unfortunately, they got really horrible not telling you things are coming out anymore, so I found out about it after the fact. I figured, hey, let's just try to do a Reacts to it and we can make a video. Howdy folks, I am Ashley Birch. You may know me best as Aloy from the Horizon series or Tiny Tina from Borderlands. I hear she's getting her own Nope, game, so. don't recognize you. But enough about me. Let me bid you a very warm welcome to the Future Games Show Spring Showcase. <coughs> Spring 2022. It's a show presented by Games Radar where we put games on your radar. Do you get it? Because game. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, Games Radar is for the part next of this. hour, we are on a quest to show you a frankly kind of uncomfortable that they put those so close in all these game shows and certain gaming media outlets. But before we go any further, I'm going to need a partner, someone ideally brave and proven. I think I know just. You're that. wasting our time, Ashley. Yes, sure. So good to see you, and thank you for the kind words, my friend. For the folks at home, my name is John McMillan, and I play Val in Horizon Zero Dawn and its sequel. Horizon Forbidden West, and alongside never heard of you. Ashley Birch, I'll be your of course, I think those games are garbage. So, in the games, Ashley's character and mine share a strong bond based off of mutual respect and the ability to destroy robot dinosaurs with primitive weapons. Good and for I don't you. Think so, but these skills are highly I'm glad you can do fake fantasy things. Ideal viewer to guide you through more than an hour <laughs> of exclusive video game trailers. That's exactly right, John. There is also a chance to win this high-end PC from our friends at AMD. Yeah, it's kind of like for us. Sounds handy for playing all these games that we've got to show you. Just follow the link on the screen to enter wherever it happens to be. So let's saddle up and get things started with something special. Yeah. Can to do the honors, Ashley? Ooh, I've always wanted to do this. Let's take a look at our first world. Premiere. She looks too young to have gray hair. Literally, are young people getting gray hair just to like as a fashion? Okay. This looks hideous. Oh, silver maybe? They're like, I'm not old enough. I want to look old. Oh, just wait. It'll come. This looks disgusting. Ugh. I guess as I'm watching this later, I could skip stuff too. This looks hideous. This is horrible. Yuck, 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 and more yuck. This is not my idea of utopia. On and on and on. Creepy, ugly, nasty, disgusting. The time I have left. No, thank you. Not wishing list and that's I don't like Steam games anyway. That was the time I have left, which is coming in 2023. Good, we have time to ignore Next, it. we have an exclusive look at the first gameplay from Gun Jam, a frantic rhythm FPS where players have to shoot in time with the music to stay alive. Let's check it out. This sounds obnoxious. Just to me. Yep. I was right, this looks obnoxious. Is this in VR? I have a feeling this one will get me sick. So not only are you having to move around and shoot things and like avoid being shot, but then you have to start having to get that constant timing button. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Not my thing. Yeah. 
I wonder, are you actually moving around or is it, are you on rails? And all you do is just keep hitting a button. Tap, 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 tap. Gun Jam. This is another, yeah, another Steam game. Wee! Steam. That was Gun Jam, which is coming soon to PC. We're keeping those world premieres coming with our next trailer. This is a game where you play golf with cars. Looks like Rocket League. I feel like there's a pun here. Driving, like, like driving a car, but also driving a golf ball. John, no, please, our poor viewers. Okay, 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 okay. We both know there are so many great puns in the chat. I am trying to hear. Just Rocket League Golf? I like the disco ball, that's pretty cool. This might be fun. Please tell me it's on consoles. Score point. Ow. That looks cool. So you take the Rock League concept and you mix it with golf. Turbo. Vehicles are okay. Turbo Golf. Turbo Golf Racing. Turbo Golf Racing. Oh, it's coming to Xbox. Sweet. Turbo Golf Racing is on course. John, what did we talk about? I swear to God. Let me finish. Turbo Golf Racing uh, is on course to land on PC, Turbo Xbox Golf Series Racing, S, Xbox Series S, and Xbox One. And there's a beta coming soon. Cover piece of paper real quick, Nailed please. It. Yeah, okay. Piece of paper. Next up is an exclusive look behind the scenes at A44, the creators of Ashen, who are hard at work on their next game. Big Let's fine. check it out. I gotta write this down. Oh, it's 16 plus. Thank you. Yeah. Turbo Golf Racing. Flintlock, the Siege of Dawn. It's a new dawn. Flintlock Fantasy is a genre that's uh, built on black powder and technology and old gods and dark magic. The door to the afterlife is in the city of Dawn. And so, so there are lots of false gods in this one. Are coming from that populate the world. I don't it's understand why they do that. The you know, it's like, they suddenly say, ah, there's no religious belief in video games. And that's why we can't have the Christian uh, games. And then they sit there and, like, do this over and over and over and over again. Like, oh, you know, well, we put this goddess in there. And we put all these old gods. And we put the, all these different false gods. And you're like, um, excuse me? Nor uh, is uh, inspiration. She's a strong woman of color. And she well, you sound like a racist. She is out to kill the god who killed her father. In her I'm tempted to skip this one because they just keep on... Alright, moving on to the next one. The Siege of Dawn is headed to PlayStation, Xbox, and Flintlock PC sounds no good. But that Turbo Golf now Racing sounds something cool. Completely different. Here's a futuristic social deduction game where an AI Sherlock and an AI Moriarty lock horns over murder most foul. Think Among Us meets Cluedo Among meets us. Minority Report. Ah, you'll figure it out. Among Us meets Phoenix Wright? Well, from Konami. You have eliminated the impossible. Whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Sherlock Holmes. Well, it would come from Konami because they did the um, Phoenix Wright. Social deduction. Capcom was. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. Mistakes were made. My bad. My mistake. Sorry. I think this one's M, though. Who's the murderer? Who's the victim? A secret passage. AI Sherlock versus AI Moriarty. Oh, people are dying. 
Of course, if they go M, that's not going to really help them reach a lot of people. If they're like, ah, I want to be like Among Us, well, then there's kind of a reason. It's lower rating. Think of it. What is he spraying them for? Hey, why is there a wolf attacking? Let go of my hand! Ghastly. I think it's supposed to be Moriarty crime sites. Hmm. The game is afoot. Oh, they're going for the Sherlock Holmes thing. April 14th, that's not too far from now, from when we're actually recording this. Now you're all clued up on Crime Site, which is coming soon to PC. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know. Our next game is all about dealing with those strange somethings in your neighborhood. Let's investigate the silly, spooky world of Midnight Ghost Hunt. Okay. Silly, spooky? I've never really thought of ghost hunting as silly, but okay. Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, I guess. Pour the tea. Uh, what? They look like they're Call of Duty wannabes. Bright light. Who are you going to call? Does this person have a weapon? Behind you! Ow. Get the chair. Well, this is going badly. people that's not good where'd the guy go this looks freaky I'm shooting the cannon at you. Oh, that looks bad. Shoot it. Midnight Ghost Hunt. <laughs> That's potential if it comes to consoles. Let's hope it doesn't go in. That didn't see any blood, though. Get ready to hunt poltergeist props in Midnight Ghost Hunt, which is coming to PC in just a few days' time on March 31st. Yeah, PC. Hey, John, uh, of course. Did you know that this future game show is part of a brand new genre? Is this something you just made up, Ashley? No. The producers told me that this year's event is actually a strand-type showcase, and I've got an exclusive trailer that proves it. Strand? Ah, uh, 18 plus. So I'm feeling this is gonna be M. Look at it a little bit and then probably skip more of it. Oh, I think we've seen this one before. Another reacts.
horrible. Yuck. Yeah, Death Stranding. No, thank you. I told you. Death Stranding Director's Cut launches on PC next week if you're down for some daddy daycare. I'm not. Next up, we've got an exclusive look at gameplay from Demio PC Edition, a co-op tabletop adventure game with VR crossplay functionality. Tabletop VR? Mm -hmm. Why it's on PlayStation VR? Descending into the dark dungeons of forgotten memories. Old junk. The mighty guardian found himself caught in an ambush. Can't really relate to this guy. An old but familiar magic. Whispering a call to adventure. Compelled by fate, he summoned the old fellowship. Hmm. Looks interesting, but if you gotta like have to play with others, we might still play it on it. We could do lots of tabletop games in VR. You had to open that door, didn't you? Just had to. They're killing you, man. They're taking a beating. I'm about to die. We got this, man. We got your back. Here they come. I got you. I got you. Let's do this. Three complete adventures. Wow. Crossplay with VR. Massive content load, man. Too bad it's not coming to, like the PlayStation VR. Demio PC Edition later. is coming to Steam on April 7th. City builders are usually frantic fights against climate disaster or bankruptcy, but Dwarf Romantic replaces that. Well. Realism with relaxation. Here's an update from the folks at Tucana Interactive about where the game is headed next. Like a city builder? Oh, this looks kind of cool. Tiles. Explore, explore colorful biomes. Cool. Find new tiles. Build cute worlds. Dwarf romantic. We're excited to announce that Dwarf Romantic is launching out of early access and will be available on Steam, Epic Game Store, and GOG on April 28th, 2022. Okay. Hey, John. It's world premiere time again. Woo! Let's take our first look at a new title coming to PlayStation and PC in 2023. This is Alterborn. Alterborn. Not always. Look at them. So fragile. Doomed from the start of their hopeless pursuit. You gazed upon others that shared your fate. And yet, like a moth to the flame, you still push forth. Yes. You see it now, don't you? Your futile quest can only end in one way. Oh. Look behind ya. Tap into the power within. Embrace it. Or be consumed by it. 
Mm. Looks gooey. Meh. Alterborn is coming to PC and PlayStation in 2023. All right, I need a break, you know, like a real change of scenery. You know where I'd love to be right now, John? An empty convention center hall that is mysteriously lit with neon? That's, uh, wow. No, actually, that sounds kind of scary. Okay, well, just close your eyes for a second and pretend you're in the Bahamas. Never been, so I don't know what it looks like. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Look, it's better than the Bahamas. Welcome to the virtual show floor, Ashley. Hmm. Every game we're about to see here has a Steam demo that you will be able to play right after the show. I think show. they did this last year, Just too. Just Google Future Games Show Steam to find all the games featured in today's showcase. Also, the great thing about the virtual show floor is that it has all of the fun of a physical event without any of the body odor. Right, right, right. So why does it still smell so funky in here? Oh, uh, that's just the runoff from the curse to golf booth. The developers went the extra mile for the ambiance. We'll get used to it. Should we head over and check it out? Sure. Curse to Golf is a roguelike golfing adventure where players have to putt their way out of purgatory. That's one hell of a handicap. Ha! See? Golf puns are easy, John. Okay, moving on. Our mm. next booth features Power Call. This is a demonic deck builder where players assemble Yuck. a band of musical Avengers and rock their way through hordes Gross. of leather clad enemies. Oh, thank you. And if you like the sound of that, then get your print screen keys ready in three, two, one. John, you're so generous. Ah, come on. It's a gift from us both. Ooh, speaking of gifts, I know a gigantic sloth with a gift for punching the crap out of skyscrapers. In Terror of Hemosaurus, you play as a giant monster and wreak havoc on human Rampage wanna be butt slam civilians, punch helicopters, and rescue it, kittens. Rampage look better than this. Smash them up for up to four players. Sounds like an absolute rampage. Yeah. But let's knock that heart rate down just a little bit and check in with Spirit of the Island. This cutesy co-op life simulation game is about transforming a lush archipelago into a bustling hotspot for tourists. Ooh, now let's crank the heart rate right back up with Project Warlock 2. This chaotic boomer shooter has stunning sprites and plenty of... You call that stunning. To porcify. It's sure to get your heart Looks rate Looks like 16-bit. I'm not sure that's in the dictionary. Yeah, that's a good point. Although I don't think any of what we're seeing here is in the dictionary. Next up, we've got Norco, a point-and-click with a gothic Americana twist. Chat with thought-provoking androids and confront the uncanny valley in this dreamlike dystopian adventure. From sophisticated conversation okay. to the subtle art of wrecking everything, this is a bris. A brutalist destruction game where you build tools to break down towers. Make it rain, people. And if you're looking for a more subtle form of revolution, then our next game should be on your radar. Revolution. Revolution the Spark is a turn-based RPG where player choice is paramount. Get ready to fight for the many in this steampunk supernatural vision of an evil 20th century empire. Hmm. Our final game incorporates elements from Gaelic, Celtic, and Swiss folklore to deliver an inspired take on the character action brawler. You can play as one of three varied characters and battle creepy bosses in Helvetti, which is coming to Steam in 2022. Yeah. And that's all we have time for on the virtual show floor. Please don't forget to check out the Future Game Show Steam page where you can try all of these games for free. Okay, moving on. All right, while you're waiting for those demos to download, it's time to check out some more exclusive trailers. At least I keep this going and show you lots of games. Trip to feudal Japan. We're going to Japan. Dad, I've seen it in my dream. The village. It was already there. Rice fields, the water mills. Everything looked just like you told me. And the people. There were so many. They worked so hard to keep us safe. This actually looks interesting. Peace with the gods. I don't tell you that. Finally, everybody was happy. And there was no hunger anymore. You've almost chopped down the tree. The tree's gonna fall. So, Dad, please promise me. Winter. Promise me that we will survive.
Sengoku? Hmm. Eh. Sengoku Dynasty is coming to PC in 2022. Started decent and then just took a Next we have downturn. something so secret that I don't even know what's coming, which means we can all experience this reveal together. So let's go. Portal 3. Peggy 12. Frontier Foundry. Kaoken Interactive. Kaoken! We on Mars? Is this Marsies? WSA? Well, there could have been four people in there. And there's one. Hey, it's a tool. Like a pickaxe. I'm seeing a curved one, though. Oh, no. Nice little flying robot. Did they shoot us down? Let's not go there. This has got oxygen. Deliver us Mars. Hmm. Interesting. That was Deliver Us Mars, which is the follow-up to the incredible Deliver Us the Moon, and it's coming to PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox mm. One, and PC via Steam and the Epic Game Store. Interesting. Question. What if Solid Snake was a sentient Roomba? Are you just thinking out loud, Ashley? Oh, no. That's like the whole premise of our next game. And I, for one, am in love with it. And the music is so great. Well, you wear a face mask with no gloves? Hmm? You're going to fingerprints. Not high score. What is? Oh, gross. Okay. Yeah, avoiding that one. Definitely, avoiding that one. But damn, that looks good. Just as sucks reached. Moving on. Peggy, another M game. Team Seventeen. Burning heart of the sky. Hear my wailing. Okay. I can show multiple games. Wow, I'm going from bad game to bad game to bad game. The bad game. <laughs> Coffee Stain presents. Really pixelated looking game. Songs of Conquest. Hi, I'm Carl Toftable, the game designer of Songs of Conquest. 
Songs of Conquest is a love letter to the classic turn-based strategy games of the 90s, and in our game you'll control powerful magicians called wielders. Adventure waits as you send your wielders to explore maps. I think I've seen these kinds of games sites, before. Treasures and powerful artifacts. Been a while. But finding treasure and exploring is only the start of it. You need to invest your riches in both expanding your town and raising a grand army. Because sooner or later, you'll face the enemy in combat. Each turn, your troops generate essence, a magic resource that fuels and unlocks your spells. Anything from simple buffs to cataclysmic damage deals. Okay. In combat, there are many things to consider. Your troops can move, attack, and use abilities, like placing stakes in front of them. Moving to the high ground gives many benefits, but moving away from an enemy lets them attack you. So carefully consider your choices. Hmm. And speaking of choices, you'll have four different factions to play as in Songs of Conquest. Arleon is the remnants of an empire, now broken up into many warring baronies. Knights are joined in an uneasy accord with the Fae, magical creatures of the woods. Rana, the swamp dwellers, scattered by their enemies. But a mysterious wielder has risen, uniting the folk of the marsh to rediscover their true strength. Okay. Good for them. In the declining barony of Loth, cultists excavate ancient ruins for arcane artifacts. Yeah. Loth will stop at nothing to bring back its former glory, even if it means bringing back the dead. Gross. The wealthy merchant states of Baria employ artificers to keep them one step ahead of their enemies. The volleys of muskets and the roar of the Hellbreath bring terror to all who oppose them. Hmm. They sound fun. Songs of Conquest can be played both in single player and multiplayer mode. The game has two campaigns and several skirmish maps. And it will also include the same level editor we have used to create all maps and campaigns in the game. We are very excited to show you the game soon and hope you'll join us for the adventure. If you put it on console, I might try it, but otherwise, nope. So, nope. <laughs> Songs of Conquest is launching via Steam Early don't Access really like playing early PC 2022. Games that much. We we would need a different setup to do it. The next Lego Star Wars game is nearly Star Wars. Made, I promise. And to prove it, we've got a brand new trailer to whet your appetite. Oh, the Lego Skywalker, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to get this at some point. He was fun. Know the power of the dark side. Across all nine films, yeah. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy. Like never before. My worthy apprentice, the mighty Kylo Ren. I trust our plans are proceeding accordingly. The Republic and the Jedi won't stand a chance. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> the circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to turn you to the dark side. No! Now you will experience the full power of the dark side. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to get that. Execute order sixty seven. Yes, my lord. No, no. 66. 66. Order 66. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Nice. Play it on Xbox Series X and S. Lego Star, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga <laughs> launches on April 5th for uh, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo cool. Switch. Next up is our ones to watch montage, which features short bursts of footage from upcoming games that should definitely be on your radar. Okay. Wishlist fingers at the ready.
Well, that was fast. Check out gamesradar.com for more info on any interesting games that may have caught your eye. Let's imagine another kind of future with the Cycle Frontier, a free-to-play shooter where you fight off other players and vie for resources on a hostile alien world. The Cycle Frontier? Hey Prospectors, I'm Dan, Creative Director on the Cycle Frontier. Hey Dan. Cycle Frontier is a free-to-play PvPvE high-stakes sci-fi shooter. It's a game where you get to take on the role of a prospector that goes down to a beautiful but also very, very dangerous alien planet. Sounds like some other stuff. Resources, but between you and those resources stand monsters, a deadly storm, and perhaps most. What's that one? Peter played. I guess Rust is. Rust might be similar. Then there was um. Prospector, it's up to you how you want to navigate all those dangers. Uh, whether you want to drop down solo with a squad, whether you want to avoid danger. Look I'm trying to remember the one that was had dinosaurs in it. It was the same way, but it got to the point where it was too hard because people who have been there longer have everything, you know, leveled up. Left behind. But I'm super happy to announce that we're also getting close to the official release of the Cycle Frontier. Okay. I mean, it looks beautiful. Probably on the high-end PC, I guess. Oh, he struck oil. Wow, that oil was close to the surface. Unearth its secrets. In April 2022. Oh, ugly. It was an ugly thing. I guess that's why there's claw marks in the second C. And part of the Y. The Cycle Frontier is coming to PC in 2022. Okay, it's world premiere time again. How come you always get to announce the world premieres? I think it's probably karma for all those puns you did, buddy. As I was saying, inspired by Paper Mario and Undertale, this game follows an adorable ghost who has come to terms with their own death. Three cheers for existential wholesomeness! Paper, Paper Mario has you can control a ghost character? No. I guess you're trying to Paper Mario style or something? Welcome to Outbound. Town torn between life and death. If I weren't already dead, your skull man would have killed me. Okay. Play much of ghosts. We have one game where we're fighting ghosts, another game where we are ghosts. It's almost if you're avoiding something. Battle your demons. Okay. Yeah, definitely not my belly wick. The outbound ghost. Nah. Pass. That was the outbound ghost, which is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Next up, we've got a game where you have to manage a spaceship in a procedurally generated spaceship. Universe. Spaceship. Spaceship. Sounds a bit tricky. Hello, travelers, and welcome to your new life purpose, sponsored by GloboCorp. To ensure a successful mission, I now request your full attention. Please take a few moments to familiarize yourself with our state-of-the-art, high-powered laser cannons. In the unlikely event that Nord brand rockets bombard our ship, emergency exit points may appear. Globocorp would like to apologize for any turbulence experienced on this flight, but also remind you that it's your fault, as you are the pilot. Today's in-flight entertainment includes Dodge the Asteroid and Don't Get Ejected into the Endless Void of Space. In the event hostile forces attempt to make contact with you, it is advised to avoid conflict at all costs. Thank you for flying with Globocorp, rated number one for safety by all of our survivors. This means warp. This means warp. 
Okay then. Adapt to survive, and this means warp. Now it's time to take a look at the ecologically ravaged Earth of Forever Skies, a base-building adventure set on a futuristic airship. Not what I was thinking of. There's another one that's like this, Forever Skies. We burned paradise. We lit the fire and fled. But death followed, hidden in our blood. Return to Earth. We left? Build and control your airship. Utilize science to survive. I don't know they base it off. The whole concept of the game is based off of fake science, but that's okay. We evaporated door. Do you remember the forests? Food looks bad. Uh oh, storm. We have one less engine. Blue goo. A colossal life form. What would that be? Giants. A little mystery in there. Forever Skies is headed to PC in 2022, and you can wish list it on Steam today. As the spring showcase trucks along. John. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I can't help it. This is Alaskan Truck Simulator. I had to do it. You really didn't. Alaskan Truck Simulator? This will come to consoles. We're gonna do some ice road trucking too. Probably. Grocery store. Come with some food. Camp food, go to sleep. Oh yeah, PS4, PS5, and Xbox. Nice. Alaskan Truck Simulator is chugging its way to PC in 2022. You may have seen some of our next trailer at last week's ID at Xbox event, but we've got the extended cut featuring all new gameplay. This is she inspired as Grace Artworks. an interactive movie trilogy from her story creator, Sam Barlow. Ah. Breaker, do you mind reading this out uh, for us? Now, now, marvelous magic will turn the next 60 seconds into a commercial. Okay. To 
What is your name? Marissa Marcel. Did we get it right? You can proposition me. That looks incredible. What's up next, John? The spotlight swings to a cute platforming adventure inspired by Peruvian culture. Let's check it out, shall we? Yeah. Imp of the Sun. Imp of the Sun is out now. Yes, okay. right now. On PC, go get it. Did you say don't get it? I thought I heard him say don't get Hold it. Hold on to your pillows, folks, as we have entered the horror segment of the Spring Showcase. Let's embark on Expedition Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Skipping some horror. As we're about to check in with the developers behind <laughs> Vampire the Masquerade, Swans. New. Nope. More horror. Heartbeat as we made our way to the launch pads. But the most vivid memory I have is standing alone, watching the shuttles leave, evacuating you to Mars. Those left behind started to turn on each other. So I escaped deep into the forest. Lungs and legs propel me. You cannot buy or sell me. Okay. Years passed, and then suddenly you appeared again. At the time, I didn't know I had something you wanted immunity. There's some cool stuff there with you know people. Get ready for the coming so. to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. That can't be it, right, Ashley? 
Uh, these things never end without a little something, something. And I still haven't got to do my best world premiere voice. You're right, you're right. Okay, I've got one last reveal hiding up ha. my sleeve. And this one's all you, baby. Finally. All right, folks. Here's our final world premiere. Lego. Yeah. Thunderfall and Clockstone. I think this is the one we did a separate uh, reacts to. Yeah. We were testing some stuff. The journalist covering this project hasn't arrived. Have you seen that? I knew I should have taken that parachute class of journalism school. Oh, the airplanes. Airplane parts laying around. Looks like we have to build stuff. A little helicopter. Find the right way to make a helicopter. Stuff. This one looks really neat. I'm trying to remember what system it was on. A little portal there. Brick tails. Lego brick tails. And with that, we come to the actual legal conclusion of the Future Games Show Spring Showcase. It's been a total pleasure, but unfortunately, we have to dip. You can start fleshing out your wish list now and make your way over to gamesradar.com for more details on the games you've just seen. And don't forget those virtual show floor demos either, which can be found on the Future Games Show page on Steam. A huge thank you to everyone involved in this year's Spring Showcase. And of course, to all of you tuning in at home. I'm Ashley Birch. And I've been John McMillan. And this has been the Future, Future Game, Game Show, Show Spring, Spring Showcase. Showcase. Okay. I'm just going to recap here. All right. So, that was the Spring Showcase. Um, I wrote down some games that sound interesting that uh, we'll want to probably try to check out at some point in the future. Uh, I like how they they put lots of games in there. Would have been nice if they would have you know sent something out a little earlier to let us know. Hey, uh, by the way, this is happening. We, like I said, we found out about it like the next day. It was like, oh yeah, hey, there was a show. Oh, okay. Nice of you to you know have some pretty good PR and marketing to let us know ahead of time. Who you know forgot. It's like all of a sudden you get these press releases the next day. It's like, oh yeah, you know we were at the we were shown. Our game was shown at the future uh, game show, and you're like, huh? What? There was, a, there was one? Huh? So, uh, so yeah. Um, all in all, I, I kind of liked it. I thought it was a pretty good show. So, uh, we'll uh, do what we can to get this video up on our channel. I thank everyone for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.